into this process, we wanted to choose children that um, in our eyes were the most unwanted, the most needy, the ones in a lot of ways that have been overlooked. And these guys happen to be those embryos that had, as far as we could tell, been waiting at the NEDC longer than any other embryos that were there. We weren't looking to get the oldest embryos that have been frozen the longest in the world. We just wanted the ones that have been waiting at the NEDC the longest. the NEDC they have a, a wall that with some pictures of the record holder so in my mind I knew okay so the record's 27 years it didn't really hit me until after they we had found out that two of the three they transferred implanted and then it kind of crossed my mind oh so these guys are probably the new new the new record holders I don't think there's any risk to freezing embryos that's related to the number of years that the embryo is frozen. Um, we have been cryopreserving embryos for nearly 40 years and there's not been an increased uh, risk to the babies or to the pregnant women. When we visited the NEDC for the first time, Dr. Gordon told us there there is no such thing as like frozen embryo syndrome. As far as they know, there's no known shelf life and that these, these children could stay frozen on ice in, indefinitely. It was hard to wrap your mind around it. I was five years old when God gave life to, to Lydia and Timothy. In a very real sense, they're our oldest children, even though they're our smallest children. <laughs>